Charles Daly, 301, 12 gauge shotgun. This is First Shots. We're at a range day. So we're getting all the guns lined up. We're gonna feel like a freaking James Bond guy. <laughs> So the 301 is a 12 gauge, three inch chambering gun. It comes in at a total length of 48. Here we've got the 28 inch barrel version in the camo by Realtree. All right, so we picked this firearm out from our guys at Dominion Outdoors. We picked this one up for $310. So it is one of those budget firearms. Let's go over some of the specs and texturing. The texturing on this gun, is very well. It reminds me a lot of the Benelli's. If they had a little more texturing on the actual buttstock itself, I would say it's a direct clone. The trigger, it feels pretty good. It's not heavy. It's very smooth on the finger. It's not sharp. The loading port, very nice loading port. It's got a little mill work at the front end. I would like to see a little bit more mill work on the sides as well. This gun features a four plus one, but as we are in Canada, as it can be used for hunting, we do have the plug for three total in the gun. It does feature a fiber optic sight at the front of the barrel. There is no mid bead on the barrel itself. The butt pad feels very stiff right now. Once we get onto the range, we'll validate that. If it's too stiff, maybe it's comfortable. Other than that, those are all the specs. Let's go put some shots on range at some clay targets. Let's have a good day. All right, so we got the Charles Daly 301. We're gonna get this all loaded up and we're gonna fire off three shots and see how she feels. Not bad, I really thought that butt pad was gonna be a lot harsher than that. It's not too bad. Little, little push to the shoulder, but cycled all around flawlessly. The texturing feels really nice in the hands. Trigger, very soft. All right, let's go put some on clays. There we go. All right, so the 301, full synopsis, very good gun, not too bad. Camo, very clean camo. Overall shooting, very good. Got on target very easy with the front fiber optic sight. The butt pad is the only thing that I would say needs work. It is very stiff, you really feel it in your shoulder. But overall, for a budget shotgun, I would use this if you're looking at like the 300 to $400 range for a hunting gun. And that's it for this one. If you like, leave us a like and a comment down below. Don't forget to follow us on all social medias and that's it for this first shot. <laughs>